Engage with life. Heaven letter number 5861. December 11, 2016. Consider that life is supposed to surprise you. It is natural for life to surprise you. Expect that life will give you one surprise after another. Be glad for surprises. There are all kinds of surprises. You love the surprises you love, and you are run over by the surprises that you take as unremitting. Life is not being radical with you ever. Certainly, you feel that life is being loving, or life is being annoying or even downright hostile. You stipulate to life a range of experiences that you view as allowable and a range of experiences that you view as unacceptable. Life does not choose to offend you. Life is as life comes. There are experiences that may befall you that you would remove from the face of earth. You would like to think that, if you had the say, life would be less erratic and far more kindly than you see life. You rebuke life for what you see as offenses to mankind. Take what is called death. Of course, death has been misnamed. There is no such thing. You start off with false premises, and you are, dear ones, high and mighty about what you see, as if life is being high-handed and has no right to be as it is. Life has every right. You have arranged to grow, and grow you will. Despite the way you see life, with all compassion for you, it is for you to interpret life differently. I assign you to look at life itself more compassionately. There are no rules for life that say you must have what you like. Life is apportioned as it is apportioned. Beloveds, you are learning to never be down at the punch. You are learning to rebound. You are subjective, so you object to life. Life is just doing what life does. In every case when life seems to strike you a blow, you've got to know that life is life. Despite what life may seem to you at a given moment, life never does pick on you or single you out. Don't let yourself be held back by life. It may seem that life is strong-arming you, yet this is not how it is. This is how you see it. Life doesn't single you out to infringe upon you. Life is calling on you to move forward. You find the measures harsh and unacceptable. You say that life is radical and unfair, and you refuse to undergo that which you cannot change. What you can change is to see with a longer view. You are not to be so radical, beloved ones. You were not born to have grievances. You were not born to hold grudges against anyone or any experiences that may come your way in life. Listen to this, you were not born to suffer. It may seem to you that you have no choice. You have not known how to accept all that befalls in life without an outcry. Life, as you want it, is not obliged to suit you. You are obliged to make peace with life. Life is not a marauder. Life does not set out to do you harm. Life has far a greater vision than yours. Life has a far greater range of outlook than you. It is not in your best interest to choose to be short-sighted. Life is not a question of either or. It is not for you to shoot life down. Weep your tears, and get on with life. When life asks a lot of you, give. When life seems to burden you, let go of the concept of burden. Life has its idiosyncrasies, yet, one way or another, with life at your side, you grow. Look kindly at life. Bestow your grace upon life. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org